If you watch this video, I covered how to use one line, which is the wash line and illustrator with euro pound and the trade move exactly to the place that I wanted. We got our profit already with a reward to risk ratio of 1.73. Today in this video, I will add in one indicator that I designed. You're going to get this indicator. Remember to watch till the end of the video. With this indicator, when you add into the wash and rinse, you're going to find that the profitability increase, accuracy increase. You're going to find very high win ratio. Remember to hit the subscribe and the like button first. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? This is zero power. We have a short around here. So that was our sell entry. This is the wash bar. This is the rinse bar. If you want to have a full tutorial on wash and rinse, please remember to refer to this video here. I've added in one indicator which I constructed, which is perfect to spot for turning point. And that's what wash and rinse is all about. Wash and rinse is to spot that turning point where you are able to have the buy or sell at the tip of the turning turning point. With the divergence indicator that uses the MACD histogram and specialty program, we are able to pinpoint when that wash and rinse might happen and when is that perfect wash and rinse that bears the highest probability. If you take a look at the shot in Euro Pound, it happens to be where we are seeing a hidden bearish divergence. Let me explain today's module. First, we're going to talk about the type of trades that you are likely going to encounter. Second, we're going to work on the divergence that you might see. Third would be under what situation would you want to apply the divergence? Fourth, I'm going to combine the divergence with wash and rinse and you're going to find that your profitability and the accuracy will greatly increase with this strategy. There are mainly two types of trade. First would be the mean reversion. For example, if we take a look at the blue line here, that's the average price. If price traveled too far away from the mean, for example, if price is here or here, then if it's too far away from the mean, then traders will think that, hey, look, this is too high. Let me just shout it down, short it down to resume to the mean. So this type is a mean reversion trade. Now, the second type would be a trend base. Imagine that the blue line is your trend. That's the mean price. If price is near to the mean price, then traders would want to buy if this is an upward trend or to sell when it is near to the mean price if it's a downward trend. Then what is divergence? Divergence is a measurement of energy, a measurement of strength in the price movement. See divergence as a leading indication, but divergence must always be confirmed with price. Imagine I have this car that's moving at 100 km per hour, and it's trying to make a U-turn here. Now, Before it comes to this point where it needs to make a U-turn, it has to slow down. Right? The fact that it is slowing down, let's say for example from 100 km per hour, and slow down to 50 km per hour, then it can meet the U-turn. The fact that when you see that the car is slowing down before ahead of this U-turn, you know that you're going to suspect it is going to make a turn. It's the same implication as price. If price is near to a high or near to a low, you start to see the slowdown in the momentum, which is given by divergence. You can suspect that potentially it is going to turn. So divergence is a very good indication, in fact, a leading indication for us to know that this could be a turning point. This is a classical bullish divergence. In this case, we are looking for a buy. For classical divergence, we are applying that for mean reversion. Take a look at price here. Price is heading lower. I mark two and one here on the price low. If you look at the corresponding low of the MACD indicator, you realize that at point two here, the MACD indicator is showing a higher low versus one. Now, where does the divergence come from? As price move lower, your MACD indicator is going higher. So this is the point of that divergence. If you have a look to the right hand side, I'm going to mark two as well versus one. This is when price make the same low, but your MACD indicator is making a higher low. Now the divergence come from that while price either make a lower low or make the same low, your MACD indicator doesn't really agree. Your indicator is showing that strength by making a higher low at the point number two. 
Now, in this case, you can conclude potentially there might be a turning point coming because your MACD is showing a divergence to that of a price. In a classical bearish divergence case, this is where price make a higher high. I mark two at the higher high versus one. Price make a higher high, but MACD doesn't show that strength when two is at a high. So instead of making a higher high for the indicator, the indicator diverge. It diverge by showing weaknesses by making a lower high at number two. Now, in this case, we conclude that there could be a bearish divergence. Now, on the right hand side, this is the same situation because it's, it's not only that price need to make a higher high, it can be a bearish divergence where price make a same high as well. But your MACD indicator is showing weakness because it makes a lower high. So this is a form of a bearish divergence and your indicator tells you that when price make an attempt to make a new high or make a new high already, it is showing weaknesses by making a lower high. Next, we come to hidden divergence where we use it for trend following. To the left hand side is an uptrend. It's given by a higher high and a higher low. However, where does the divergence come in? Mark the low of the indicator as well. So this is the low of the indicator and here is the low of the indicator. You find that while price make a higher low, the indicator actually makes a lower low versus the previous low. Now, this divergence come from that the fact that indicator makes a lower low means that it has more potential energy because imagine it like a rubber band. You're going to pull deeper for this rubber band. Isn't that you have more stock energy? So when price finally can expand upwards, it will have more kinetic energy, more momentum, right, to move up. So this is the case where the divergence comes in. You first need to spot that your price is making an uptrend by having this higher low, yet your indicator is making the reverse, which is the opposite. It's making a lower low. Right On the right hand side is a downtrend situation. Downtrend because I can find that the high is a lower high and the low is a lower low. Then where is the divergence? Look at the high corresponding to the price movement. Now when price make a lower high, your indicator actually makes a higher high. In order for price to fall lower, imagine you have a rubber band and you can pull and stretch it so much higher. There will be more stock energy here. So when you release, then the price can move down a lot more. Now the divergence comes from the fact that price is making a lower high, yet your indicator puts so much higher and in this case, the arrow of the price and the indicator points differently. The price is pointing downwards while the indicator is pointing upwards. The hidden divergence is a type of divergence that I like to use because I like to trade with the trend and then it works very well with wash and rinse. Now, in the next session, I will be talking about how and what situation do you use each of the divergence. When do you use the different type of divergence? Let me just sum up. Hidden divergence is the situation where you use it with the trend. Whereas for classical divergence, you use it where it is a mean reversion. So you are in fact doing a little bit of a reversal here. Right. So let's move to the price here. If this is an uptrend, you're going to find that at this point here and this point here, you're going to see hidden divergence. That means you need to make sure your indicator is going lower than the previous low to spot the hidden divergence. In here, where you have the downtrend, then the hidden divergence will be found at the top here, where you want to see your indicator pulling higher than the previous high, while price make a lower high. In what situation do you use a classical divergence? In classical divergence, you will be looking for a sell in an uptrend. This means that if you compare this point to this point, you are likely going to find that price goes higher, but your divergence would be a bearish classical divergence in order to 
spot that turning point. What I encourage is probably good to apply the chart pattern to a classical divergence. For example, I have price coming near to the same high here. It's probably good to spot for a classical divergence when price is near to the high, for example, in a double top formation, rather than to use the classical divergence when price is very much steeply moving up and you are trying to predict that price is going to turn. You find that these types of setup is slightly going to fail. Now, whereas in a downtrend, then where do you look for the classical divergence? You look at the classical divergence by comparing the low to the next low. Now, again, that I recommend to probably just do it together with some chart pattern like a double bottom. So you probably want to look for a classical bullish divergence near to the two lows here when price is near to a low point. Then how do you combine wash and wins with divergence? Before this, let's quickly do a revision on wash and wins. Now, if you should want to take the full tutorial of wash and wins, please remember to refer to this video here. To the left-hand side, I have the sell wash and wins. Let's recap. We need to have a price that close higher than the previous high, then we can draw in a wash line. Now remember, I mark in two and one, which are the two candles that we are looking at. Two, ideally, must be a solid bar. Why is that so? Because we want to make sure that there's a lot of buying activities at two, and when the pattern fail, right, a lot of people will be at loss, right? So that's when the pattern would move a lot more. If two is higher than one, that means two has closed higher than one, we are able to draw in the wash line at the high of one. When priced, close below the wash line, so this would be the case where the wins bar had happened. So we say that two would be the wash bar and this bar here would be the wins bar. So anybody who bought all the way above the wash line would be washed and wins. So we will be looking for a sell when the wins bar happened. To the right hand side, that's where we see a bullish pattern here. So price must move down in order for you to draw a wash line. I'm going to mark two and one, two close lower than one. Therefore, we can draw in a wash line here. All right, I like to draw in my buy wash line with a magenta line. Since two close lower than one, it means that there will be a lot of people who are selling inside here. And the wash and means will happen if price doesn't stay below the wash line. In fact, it's actually closed back up. So we're we'll looking to buy when at the greens bar. So two will be the wash bar and the green bar here will be the greens bar. And how do we apply the wash and greens with the divergence? Let's talk about buying with the trend. Here we have an uptrend. Price is going up. Then we want to spot for a bullish wash and greens here a bullish wash and means here and the bullish wash and means here because then that's with the trend. And at the bullish wash and means, which is this buy wash and means, we want to look for a, what type of divergence? We want to look for a hidden divergence. That means the ideal state is to look for a hidden divergence when you are looking for a buy. Now, same thing, if you take a look at the right hand side, then we are looking for a sell wash and means pattern at each of the high point here. And at each of the high point, we want to look for hidden divergence, which is bearish. Then this trade will be a trade that's with the trend. To sum up, if you want to have the highest win rate with wash and win strategy, you want to trade something that's with the trend. You want to do a trend following. So step number one, you need to identify the market structure. What is the market structure? I covered in this tutorial here. The most important market structure means that if you have a high point here, then price had already broken that particular high structure here to make a new high. And you wait for price to come back down to a support level. Now here, you will be waiting for a buy wash and mean. So you want to wait for a buy wash and means here. And what kind of divergence do you want to have? You want a bullish hidden divergence. Okay, so that's what you want. You want the bullish hidden divergence. All right, so this is the type of trade that I recommend. Next, if you have a downward market structure, that means that if price is breaking down this support market structure here, then what you want to do is you want to at the high point look for a sell wash and means. Okay, so you want to look for this sell wash and means here. Second, you want to look for a 
bearish hidden divergence. Okay, so step number one is always to look for the structure. Step number two is to identify what type of a divergence that you have. Step number three is to look for your trigger, which is using the wash and rinse. Let's take a look at the recent trade where we had overall a short in the yen pass. Yen strengthened and we saw a huge drop in dollar yen, for example. Now, if you have a look into the indicator, let's put your mouse near here and it shows a classical bearish divergence, meaning that we are looking for a reversal trade. We are looking for a mean reversion trade. Now, where's the point of comparison? You can use the indicator to help you. The starting point is here. So probably looking at this high here and the ending point is here and it has a red arrow that's where we are looking for a sell and it's probably near here where is the another high point so price make a higher high whereas the indicator actually makes a lower high so therefore this is a bearish classical divergence we need to spot for wash and means near to the bearish divergence at this bar here so this is the wash bar why is that so price had a close above the previous high we are able to draw in the wash line and this one that filled the wash line that closed below the wash line is your rings bar you realize that we are able to get a shot right to the top and that's the outcome now the interesting part about using divergence with wash and means is that you are able to see it in multiple time frame right now i'm in a day chart if i switch that into a week chart so the interesting part is that the indicator spotted a bearish hidden divergence put your mouse at the dotted lines here you find that it says a hidden bearish divergence now where is that uh, divergence coming from same thing you just look at the starting point the indicator spotted that this was the high point so that's the corresponding high point and this here was a corresponding high point Right, we realize that there are two high points being drawn here. One would be here, but there wasn't any trigger. If I zoom in and tally with this high point, so let's draw in the wash line. So this would be a wash line here because price had a close above one high. All right, I'd be able to draw in the wash line, but there was never a trigger at this particular potential hidden divergence however at here this point here you realize that i can draw in the wash line as well two is higher than one then i'll be able to do the wash line and that's where the wash bar happens and the rinse bar was here and that's a perfect trip because we see subsequently price actually plunge the next step you need to do is to download this indicator. Go to the website again and hit the download button where you'll be able to download the indicator for your own use to put it into MT4. I hope that you enjoy this indicator and I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. If you like to know more, please leave a comment. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I see you in my next tutorial.